The Walking Dead. When it originally aired, I saw the first half of the first season. Over the new year, I caught up with the complete marathon that AMC did. So I've seen the whole series except for the second half of the first season. I was part of the two-thirds of the country who was spoiled by The Walking Dead's very own Facebook page, who decided to release the news that Beth had died 12 minutes after it aired on the East Coast. I'm still mad about that. A lot. So I'm holding it against them. It's a day after it aired, so I'm just now going to get to sit down and watch it. Um, I, was, I managed to stay away from spoilers, but I hear this one's kind of a doozy. What happened and what's going on, which is like the two things I say the most often when I watch TV shows. So, Walking Dead, Season 5, Episode 9, let's do it. Alert! I'm not a scientist. I don't know how to stop it. The fact that they thought he was a scientist for that long is upsetting. And then Beth got her head blown off. What did she think she was going to do? Kill her with some scissors and nothing would happen? Who were the twin boy pictures of? Uh, if it works out, it's the last long trip we have to make. Yeah, but how many times have you thought that? This whole intro is shot very stylized. Judith, you're so big! It's better now. What is happening? At least those little girls got to come back. Who's pouring blood on a picture? That's gross. What happened? What's going on? Oh, he did the thing. He said the title of the episode. Don't break the CD. There's like probably four CDs left on the world. I don't get why they just don't kill every walker they encounter. Like, just kill that one in the car. Just do it. It's not good to have like a shambling limp. In a zombie apocalypse, from far away, they're just going to blow your brains out. You know. Someone just dropped their grandfather clock on the highway. It happens. Glenn's like, they did, sorry. No one even uses words anymore. They just do these like knowing glances and just head shakes. You could just be like, they're dead. They're all dead, sorry. Oh, poor guy. I I'm not saying give up hope, but just uh, don't hope too much in the zombie apocalypse. He's such a good guy, Tyrese. I love you. There you go. That's right. That's right. You stand on that gimpy leg. Noah, quit running on your bad leg. Rest. That's what doctors always say. Like, I get you're being emotional, but you're supposed to be doing a sweep. You've been sitting in the driveway for the last ten minutes talking. Tyrese just takes on everyone's emotional baggage. Willingly. He's a good guy. He's like the best dude on this whole show. I like that shot. Where there's one jagged piece of glass left and you can see his reflection in it. Oh, that's a bad scene to walk in on. Nah, nah, nah. Don't, don't look. Don't ever get close to someone, even if they look pretty dead. I mean, if anything we've learned, when they look mostly dead, they're usually mostly zombie. Mm. Twins are already creepy. When they're zombies, it's like so much worse. What's behind you? Turn around, turn around, turn around. Don't, don't let anything happen to him. Turn around! Hmm? Oh. No. No, 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 cut his arm off, cut his arm off now. You got killed with a jet plane, son. Cut his arm off! They're gonna kill him. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. This is effed up. What is wrong with you, show? Why do I watch this? Why do I watch this? Oh, dear God. Okay, you, you sweep the house before you start staring at stuff. Why do you stare at stuff? Be militant. Look behind you. Just gonna go and save babies. At least he got to come back. I got bit at the food bank. Everyone is back. Just let him die with dignity. Don't torture him. This is torture. This is it's not better now. This is painful. You know damn well. Yeah. 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 What? What? That's a zombie. No. This is. This show has seriously affected my way of dealing with things, and my ability to deal. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, 
my gosh. Where did the kid go? Yeah! What in the name of all, all of the things is happening? Why everybody cut into halves and pieces? No one wants to go to Washington because it's just like zombie politicians, which is just slightly worse. Instead of just making it. There's zombies. Y'all better skedaddle. Oh, shoot. No. What is... I hate conveniently placed rebar. Oh, I don't want... I'm not... I'm not emotionally prepared to see a zombie Tyrese. Not today. Not today. I can't deal with this right now. This is like a reunion show of emotions. Why is he imagining this guy chewing on gum? He's just imagining him being slightly annoying. <laughs> Teresa, I want to hug you until you become a zombie and then I'll put a knife in your head. No. No. The governor looked like he was teaching a class on like safety with a projector behind him. I, I don't, I can't. Well, he whacked his arm off. I think he's too far gone and I'm upset. This is too much. No, no one noticed the one zombie chick slip by? That's not her head. There we go, that's her head. Now I bet you're wishing you parked in town. Oh, so like what I thought would happen, you're stuck in the forest because you decided to not park in town. You feel safer now? What in the world? You think a situation's bad, and then you run into a truck full of zombie heads. Who would just torso them? Who's like, I'm just gonna cut the torsos off. Load them into a truck. Oh, look, they're not covered in blood anymore. Okay, even if this is an imagination of Beth, she should really be looking at the road instead of him, because she's the one driving. Mm -hmm. Tyrese, you were a really good guy. They gotta stop. Didn't they load him in headfirst the other way? Was it worth it, Rick? Was it worth it just to take that kid to a weird town? No, no, it was not. You can honor the dead, but still live like you're trying to not be one of the dead. It was his death? So this funeral scene was for Tyrese and I knew nothing. They killed, they killed my boy. They killed my boy. My mom uh, knew I wasn't gonna be able to watch last night and she messaged me and called me and she was like, stay away from the internet because you're going to be spoiled. So I've had like radio silence on the internet for the last day and uh, I see why. That is effed up stuff. I figured they would kill someone as soon as they came back. But then they had to do my boy. That's not cool. I mean, you'd think they'd know after this long, like you, you go to an area and, and you, you go to a sweep. You need to be militant. You need to clear the entire area before you start looking at pictures and not turning around. Look behind, always look behind you. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was interesting how they went back and, and brought a bunch of the actors back. It was heartbreaking. Uh, I still can't see Lizzie without just freaking out. That chick is creepy, that tiny little scary little murderous crazy girl. So it was good. As good as it can be when you watch a show where they keep killing people you love. I don't even know what to say. I think my emotions are still, uh, hiding. I'm, my emotions are hiding. Sad stuff. Not cool. I, I don't know why they keep, uh, deciding to drive hundreds of miles to do stuff that they're pretty sure isn't even gonna pay off. Just to try and honor the dead. You can honor the dead by staying alive. Like, if you're going to a place that you're pretty sure isn't still there, just to fulfill a last wish of someone who's died? You gotta get your friends killed. Not smart. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the, the, the like, the little thumbs up, comment, let me know what, what, you, what you guys think, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So, until next week.